Welcome back guys to another gameplay and commentary by yours truly, the he he and today's episode we're doing something a little bit different here. As you can see, I'm with my friend Darius Hi. and Alex, Hello. a couple buddies from my ROTC, and we're doing a quick story about a haunted uh, or haunted stories basically. Uh, so this is Darius, so he'll explain his first story. First story? Yeah. Okay, anything you want? A anything about haunted really anything. I get um hmm, let's see. My favorite haunted story Exactly. It's the one that creep me out, creeps me out the most. It's a, I used to live in a haunted house. I hated it. It was a house down at North Shore. Right. And the thing was, like, I didn't know it was haunted at first. And then slowly and slowly we started noticing. Where uh, it was a big, it was a big house. It was a big two lot house. And there is, of course, the right side and left side. Uh, like halfway through where we lived, we never went on the right side of the house because we just got a bad feeling from that side of the house. So the huge house, but was, you only stay on the left. Exactly. Like we had stuff on the, the like the right side of the house. We'd go over there, like get ourselves and all that crap. But we never stay on that side for a long time. Like no one slept on the, the right side of the house. Like that's where all of our our storage was. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. So like one night, uh, this was starting when I started like sleeping late and later at night because of course like school and homework started right. getting to me. And uh, one night, like, I see a dark figure kind of, like, pass, like, by my door. And I thought it was, like, uh, my mom at first. And so I went outside, and the dark figure went over to the right side of the house. And I was like, no, I'm not checking what that is. And so, like, a few weeks went by, and then it happened again where, like, I was in my bed. Like, lights were off. I was just trying to go to sleep. I can go to sleep and all that stuff. And then I see, like, <laughs> the black figure come down my uh, my uh, stairs in my room and then sit at the like the foot of my bed and I was really confused and so what I did is I ran up I turned on the light and no one was there and I freaked out I told my mom the next day and she said we need to we need to do something about it you guys moved right after that no we did not how long no. did you say after uh, another two years another two years yeah and so when my mom said she was gonna do something about it what she ended up doing was <laughs> She was really into like the spiritual kind of thing. Uh -huh. so she, 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 like, welcome. she lit some herbs and she was like, all right, ghostly spirits, please be nice to us. And I was like, that's not going to help. Don't do that. Hey, you know what? I, I would have got some holy water. Uh-huh. Do it every corner of the room. That, yeah. It would have helped. That may have helped. You could call those reality TV ghosts. Hell no. Yeah. Dude, that would have been funny. You could have made this. Oh, we would have made so much dough. Oh. No, no, no. See, they would have been like, yeah. Oh god! Yeah. <laughs> <Sorry>. Something <laughs> touched me! Did you see that? <laughs> Alright. Anyway, so like, um, that was also around the time where I was in a, uh, what's it called? Kuma class? And my Kumu, she said that, uh, it's called Red Tea Leaves, that attracts bad ghosts, and so I just pour them out of the ground. I got in trouble for it, but I just Wait, pour... you had them at your house? Yeah. In the Over by, like, the right side of the house, too. And so that's why we never liked on that side. So I just tore them out of the ground. I was like, "Mom, I don't like them," so I had to actually get rid of them. That makes so much because my okay, my ghost story basically what happened was it was also like kind of near our garden. Mm -hmm. Back in Singapore, we had this huge house, right? And then yeah. right underneath it, it's like the maid's room. And what happens is in the maid's room, that's where our laundry is. Okay. So one time, my brother was going down there, and he was doing laundry. And at the time, mm -hmm. I was in my guitar class. Yeah. And he went down there. And you know how the dryer and washer right next to each other? Yes. Okay, so usually when the washer is spinning, it moves a couple inches. Right? No, no, that, that's just normal. Okay. I, think, I think that's normal. I guess. What happened this one time, he opened the door to do laundry, and the thing moved like three, four feet. Whoa. And, and what he did was he dropped it and ran upstairs. And he called us. I was like, hey, come over here. I was like, all right, mom, we gotta go home. There's there's a spirit there. <laughs> so we tried checking it out. We went downstairs, and in front of the door was a snake. Oh! And like, this is some demon stuff. You, you know, don't have a ghost. Not... You have a demon. I'm like, forget this, man. Oh. So 20 minutes later, we went out, made sure the snake was out there, and um, we decided to go back in, and we saw it. Dude, it moved so much, and we're like, what does this happen? Like. Usually, I think it makes sense for it to turn a couple feet or a huh. couple inches, but a couple feet is just like ridiculous. Sweet, so why do you call it the maze room? That's maids. Oh, maids. I thought said like, maids. None. Oh, maids. were you like rich? To have a no, like back in <laughs> back in Singapore, it's like lots of them had maids. Oh, okay. It's like a common thing. That's cool. Yeah, I was like, I lived in a black and white house like World War II. I had a bunker. Back in. I had a bunker too. <laughs> I had a bunker. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, Hi. yeah, so this was when I was very, very little, like in early elementary school, like first, second grade. So this was when I lived in New Jersey, and New Jersey has a lot of country out there. So there was this one huge barn next to my cousin's house. Me and my cousins would... <laughs> Dude, barns are the scariest thing in the world. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember you telling me the story. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah, it was pretty scary. So me and my cousins, we would like... Every free chance we got, being like little boys, having adventure in our minds, we would go there. It was about half a mile away-ish from their house. We would go there, and we'd play hide and seek. Uh, yeah. I mean, the number, number okay. one rule in like a scary movie is like, don't fucking do that. <laughs> we, were, like, we, were, we were kids, okay? We were little kids, having fun, we didn't think it was a bad idea, okay? So, okay, it was my turn to hide. <laughs> And my two cousins, they were trying to search for me. So, I went up into the top of the barn. So, in barns, I, yeah, they have like a top floor, which is like kind of like the living part of the barn, yeah. I guess. So, I made my way through there into a really, really dark closet. So, it was all dark and snowy in there, all mold and musty in there. And I thought it was the perfect hiding place because there's no light shining in. And there's like no way they would find me. I would totally win. So like a lot of time passed and they, they still didn't find me so I was like, oh my god, what's taking them so long? So at that time, I heard something come up the stairs and I thought it was my cousins, but it was only one pair of footsteps, right? One pair of footsteps. One pair of footsteps. And like there's another thing going along with it, like another thud to go with the footsteps. So, they had three legs. No, it wasn't three legs. <laughs> <laughs> so the story behind the barn was, um that this crazy old guy, he axe murdered his family. <laughs> so my, at the time I didn't think my, because my cousin told me about the barn, but I didn't believe them. So I was like, oh man, you're just messing with me because I'm younger than you, so, whatever. So I was like, okay, I'll hide in here. Then I heard this footstep coming up the stairs. Every step, then a thud. Step, step, thud. Uh -huh. When he got to the top floor where I was, I heard his feet moving. And is sliding across the ground. He made it to my door of the room I was in, opened it up. <laughs> How are you still alive? Okay, I'm. He opened the. I don't know if it was a he or whatever it was, but it opened the door. He walked in. I don't know if, if it was still alive, but something walked in. It, it was still alive. <laughs> if it was still alive. <laughs> the undead. He walked in. I could hear the footsteps and a gross, putrid smell, uh, dead bodies, rotten, musty water, all that. But it stopped at the entrance of the door of the closet. But then it started walking out. Uh -huh. It started walking out. But then, as soon as it left the door, something just shoved me straight out of the closet. So I was like, oh my god, what just happened? So I threw myself out the window. It was like a two floor thing. I threw myself out the window. You went out of the window? I went out of the window. No way. It probably it probably wasn't that high up. Like I can understand that. But like what I wanna know is your cousin told you the story behind it and yet you guys were like, let's go play hide and go seek inside it. We were What what made you think that was a good idea? We were kids. They were kids. We were we were like when is, how old are you in like first grade? How old are you? Seven. Oh, first grade? You first, grade. Grade. first grade. I said like early elementary school. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. Uh, Alright. So I threw myself out the window, hooked my ass all the way home, or to my cousin's house. Not until like recently when I went back to New Jersey, they told me like what they saw on their end. Wow. So they were actually looking for me for that 30 minutes that I was hiding. But when they came to like the bottom of the barn and looked up at the window of the room I was in, they saw a little boy in the room. And they thought that was me, but it wasn't. It was like a white boy. Like young, old kind of clothes, you know? But you were on the ground. I was inside the closet. Uh, what? I told you I was in the closet. So, you don't, oh, so the shit. whole time that you thought it was that big, muscular, like, psychopath man, it was just a little white boy. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, it was just a little, little white, white boy. <laughs> so really what you're trying to tell me is you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's so scary. <laughs> that is... No, okay. Wait, they just shoved them out of the window. You want some candy? They <laughs> <laughs> shoved them out of the window. I ran. Oh, he shoved me out of the closet. I ran out the window. Oh. 
<laughs> you see what I mean? So yeah, they told me what happened. The mom, my my cousin's parents about to call the cops because they thought I was missing uh -huh. when my cousins came home and I didn't. Uh -huh. So that was probably the worst experience yeah. of my life, and that's why we're this boss now. <laughs> yeah. <Demons> back. <laughs> well, those were some pretty uh, haunting stories. Um, so yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed, please do stick around, leave a comment below, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>